Hello, denizens of the internet. This is Hawkeye2950 coming back to you from a slightly decent sized break that made no sense at all. We are going to be playing. continuing, excuse me, um, Super Mario 64. And to start off, we're going to jump into this painting of a second ship. To Jolly Roger Bay, plunder in the sunken ship. I tell you, I would like to definitely do a lot more than I have been doing lately, but I just haven't completely had the time. And sorry about if you heard a little interference there. My fan was blowing directly on me, which means it was also directly blowing on the mic and just fell over. Pardon me while I get that. And I grabbed the shell. And that shell does not last very long. Okay, so the objective of this uh, mission is to get the eel to move out of here so we can uh, go ahead and go into the ship and get the start. But for some reason, the eel does not want to leave right now. I, I don't know if my game is glitched or if I have not done whatever it is I need to do to get him to move. So I'm just going to swim up here, then turn back around and swim back down. I think the eel's just a little finicky today. Oh, there's a blue coin, blue coin switch there. Nice. I vaguely remember that. It's been a while since I've played this game. As a whole, not just lately. And there's the eel, and we must swim in here quickly. What the? No. No, 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 no. Get in the hole. In the hole, Mario. In the hole. Okay, so as you notice, we are in a completely sunken ship, and there is water and treasure chests. Now, the goal of this uh, star is to collect the, open the treasure chest in the right, right, um, right order. And uh, if you do not open it, them in the right order, you will get shocked. But if you open them in the right order, you will get bubbles. And that's not right either. Okay, and that's a. I don't know... Uh, okay, wait a minute, hang on. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the last one, and if... That one's not second, then that must mean this one's second. And third and fourth. Now, what you want to do is the second you hit this last one... The second you hit this last one, Mario... It's to swim very quickly... Up to this la up to this platform up here, because that's where the star is. And if you can get up here as fast as you can, you won't have to worry about climbing this. And if you just heard piano keys, my fan fell over again. I do not have air conditioning in this room. It sucks. Start one down. And I've been recording for probably about three minutes. Two, one, two, three. It's six after so I will record for until 20 after we'll do that back into Jolly Roger Bay can the eel come out to play in Jolly Roger Bay I don't know can it Oh, and if you'll notice, there's, uh, like the wing cap, there is another cap hidden in those green boxes. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but if you're watching this, you probably already know. This freaking fan keeps falling over, and it's pissing me off. And if it distracts me too much, it might kill me. Okay, so again, we are coaxing the eel out, but this time he will come out a lot more quickly. And once he swims out... I said once he swims out, 
game work. You will notice a star on his tail. Which, oh my god, I'm going to die. Oh my god, oh my god. Which you have to turn around and collect very quickly before you drown. I'm okay. Took me forever to get that star when I was little. I think I was afraid of the eel, but then again, with how old I was when I played this game, I'm not surprised. Wait, what is this? Uh, Treasure of the Ocean Cave. This is similar to the um, first mission we did here. Except, underwater, into the cave, and it's going to be on land. So that means two things. We're not pressed for time, but if we get too many wrong, and even if we get one right, there is no air bubble. And that means no health. So eventually, you could die if you don't run over to water and sit on top of it. Pardon me. Excuse me. Okay, same concept here. And I figured this out when I was a kid. Like the first try, because I either thought, well, it's either going to start in the front or the back, and the front would be too obvious, so they probably started in the back. So I started in the back and worked my way forward like this. And voila, start. That's our third star in Jelly Roger Bay, and we will be getting two more. Which may end up being a short episode, which is probably going to be good, because the next one's probably going to be long. Let's see, what time is it? I've only been going for four minutes after I started talking. Okay, now as you can see, this is red coins on the ship afloat. Well, not all the red coins are afloat, actually, some of them are underwater. Like this one. And that's a shell. And that's a coin. And the clam damaged me. How dare you clam! You're evil! And there's another one. Talk to him, Mario. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Hello. Ready for a blast off. Well, off a blasting we shall go. Pardon me, I think I also have a slight case of the sniffles. What's in that box? I know it's not a star, but... Okay. Now, technically, we could have just... Climbed onto that pole and climbed up and not have to use a cannon, but I want to see if I can skim across the top of the pole Catching the coin without using Without actually well, You know blasting out from the cannon I'm gonna blast out from the cannon try to get it. and I'm only gonna try this once so if I epically fail you will not see it again and Even luck go Oh my god, I did it! Holy shit! I did it! That was awesome! That was awesome! Oh my god! I've never done that before. Now, the way you're technically supposed to do that is just jump from here. Mario will grab onto the pillar spike thingy, and you can do it like that. But that was freaking awesome! I don't think I could ever do that again if I tried! Okay, and there are three over there. We have four, so you're thinking, where is that last one? Well, that last one is down there, which it actually materializes and renders and comes into view before the clam even does. And even then, you still see the shed. 
There is five. Now we will get the last three, which are on the ship. Mario, you fail. You see, uh, I'm playing a game, so when I screw up, I can easily blame it on the other, on the, on the character. Actually, no, that that was my fault. But okay, let's see, jumpy, long jumpy. Did I just say long jumpy? Wow. Seven, eight, and star. Here we go. And that's red coins on the ship afloat, so we've just finished that. That is our fourth star, now we are going to do our fifth. Now, I kind of accidentally precursored this one, sort of. You are going to need the cannon. Well, instead of blasting to the stone pillar on the right, you will blast to the one on the left. The one on the furthest left in this set of stone pillars. It took me forever to find out where this was when I was a kid. Anyway, you aim a little above, or a lot above. Or a little lot above, and you fire. Mario grabs on, you jump over here, hit the box, and grab the star. Here we go. Simple. Now my phone turned off. I swear my phone keeps turning off randomly, and I know it's not close to dying. Well, the battery's not low, it might be close to the end of its life. Okay, just a little secret. If you jump up here, jump Mario! A mushroom pops out and you can get a 1-up. Now, to top this off, we are going to go into this hole right here and get one of the castle secret stars. The Secret Aquarium. Now, when I was a kid, uh, what I had initially did was I collected that first coin right there, didn't even bother turning to the left or right, and I just kind of assumed that the rest of the coins were down here. So, I swim around and I collected number two, number three, once I get there. Swim, Mario, swim! Number four. And number five. And then I couldn't figure out where the other coins were. I kind of, I just kind of looked around and I'm like, well, that, that can't be right. It just can't be. And I swam around, and I kind of got up here, and I looked, but I didn't actually get this far. I think I was about right here, and I kept swimming around. I'm like, well, where are they? I don't see them. They should be around here. And needless to say, I ended up drowning, and with my last sliver of health, I had looked up and actually figured out where they were. And I never made that mistake again. So there you have it, folks. This ends part, what part are we on? Part four, five, four, four. This is part four. This has been Hawkeye2950. We have gotten five stars from uh, Jelly Roger Bay and another one of the Castle Secret stars. And I will see you next time when I can find some more time to do one of these. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.